Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Egypt Old Kingdom, episode number three. So we're in the middle of this trial, uh, assimilation of our neighbors. And we have this uh, little like mini trial inside the trial, which is that the leopard people here really don't like us. We need to somehow get this power of suspicion down to zero. So we're going to prioritize, uh, I'm actually going to take off this exterminate hyenas. We, we just need to do, we need everything to be moving. Um, we, we don't need any long-term things right now. We need short-term, which includes with one exception that I do want to continue to build this because I can't do anything else there anyway. So while the, this is a pretty huge swing, 0.2 to 5.7, I mean, that is a huge swing. Once this is done though, it's going to pay like, well, it should be the same as this, 1, 1 1.9, and 0.7. So it's 2.9 versus minus, I, maybe it's better not to do it then, you know? I think it's actually better not to do it for now. So we'll get going on that soon, but not immediately. Keep worshiping Seeker or Seeker. And I know I wanted to really do this advanced um, technology, proto-writing. It might not be in our best interest because we do want to get this thing finished as fast as possible. This would only have an effect of point, I mean, 0.5 for growth and 0.1 for hammers, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. We only have one flax fields, we don't have any other stuff. Those will all be coming uh, as soon as I can clear a swamp. <laughs> I really do need to clear these swamps, but uh, we don't have people free to do it, and now it's not the time to do it either. So man, it's really uh, it's really a tough pickle we're in. What is the best thing to do? Or one hammer per turn. And houses give us another, that's not bad either. Plus one versus 0.6 essentially. I really want the plus 0.4 and I know that's what I was saving for, but I'm a little worried because Okay, well, we don't have anything better to do. I, I really, we can handle this. I don't like the minus 3% every turn. I want to get rid of this as fast as possible, but maybe if we're lucky, we can just do that still pretty quickly. Okay. Well, that's not good. So they're trying to attack us. Let's find the location. Okay, in our flax field. Well, there's no way they're... R4 is going to beat their 12. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Um, can we do any kind of stuff? It's going to take 6 and 9 to get the last 2. We're going to miss it. We'll have the 6, but we won't have the 9. Oh, uh, we're going to be 0.7 hammers short. Is there any way we can get 0.7 hammers? Ugh. <sighs> Yes, by, by doing that. Okay, actually, we could min-max this a little bit. Let's let's do it. We only need six, and we're going to be way ahead of that. So we need hammers instead. That's only 0.1 hammers, though. Dab, nabbit! I think we have to roll the dice. Ah, uh, no, that's not good. I don't want to do that. Where else can we get anything from? Hmm. It's actually quite difficult. We have no real options. Oh! we have enough food, we can get 10, but uh, yeah, it's not going to help. Ah, well, okay, here we go. I don't think there's anything we can do. We're just going to fail this event, which means we're going to lose a settler. <sighs> which is fine. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Really unfortunate. Oh, even worse. Suspicion of... Oh, we have two turns for it. My bad. Uh, so we... Oh yeah, we, I mean, that's <laughs> yeah has to be finished right now. Plus their power of suspicion grew, which is just a, an unlucky event. Yeah, so we can do this and this, and now we can't do anything else. 
Spa Humbug. So if they hadn't, the power suspicion hadn't grown, we would have actually gotten it. I didn't realize that we were only two away. Somehow I don't know why I missed that, but I, I did. Uh, point, yeah, this is one way to do it. We could just, we're going to lose the settler anyway. You know, this is smart. We're going to lose a settler anyway, a worker. So what we're going to do is take out, take out one of the people and just sacrifice them for a one-time growth of seven food. I really did not want to do that. Trust me. Really did not. But now we can convince, and there it goes. Okay, that was that was painful. So these guys now are 50% neutral, that's good. Attack is canceled, that's good. Weak army, we really do have a weak army. There might be something we need to look into. Okay, so now the extra dividends of our research are paying, I mean, wait, the extra Investment and research. No, it's just from completing that event. We got a 90, I think. So what do we want to do? I don't know. Growth of plus one army every turn. Seems like it's not a bad idea. We're so weak that I think we have to do that. And then let's start getting some of these other things. I think the growth and the house limit, those are both really good things. Oh, but this, is, this also is going to pay... 0.5 favor dividend per turn, which is great. Which, you know, I mean, ends up, we can invest that into more per turn investments. So that's also a pretty good one. Where's fig growing? Is that this? So in order to get this 0.2 increase, we need this, which makes sense. That's a, I mean, this is a good one to get anyway. Ah, this is really good though. Plus five? Let's wait for that. That's our choice. We're so close to it anyway. I'm glad we looked. Okay, so now people... We need to get people clearing swamps. We'll do the trade and we'll... Well, we'll do the trade up here eventually as well. Um, point three. That's pretty low. Yeah. We want somebody to finish this as well. But everyone's actually doing something pretty useful. I think that this is not worth it. Let's just finish this. Oh, we can't. Forget it. <laughs> we don't have the minus six available. So we'll wait. One turn. Primitive army. Egypt's rulers started to create military units for internecine skirmishes and raids on neighbors. Bows, spears, boomerangs. What the heck? And maces. Huh. Leather shields. Boomerangs, that's interesting. You hear about that? I mean, the first thing you think of with boomerangs is Australia. If, at least if you're inundated with American culture. Okay, there's the five we want. Oh my... Oh, this is good, actually. Lower Egyptian tribes have robbed some merchants on a trade route, connecting Canaan and Upper Egypt. Their goods were intended for the protectors of Canaan. Part of the goods made it into our hands. Hooray! So we're going to get 10 military people, which will slowly decay anyways. Wait, no, they're not. Oh, the technology, right. We have the plus 0.1. So I, I don't think it matters. We're going to slowly drift to the equilibrium point anyway. And I don't expect that that's really going to change. Hey, at least we don't have the weak army modifier anymore. So we'll continue to get Seeker to improve our, our growth of favor. And now we have... Yes, that is the big one. Proto Dynasty comes power. Our tribe has grown in power and started to acquire early state-like features. Interesting. So this is, um, I guess, after some point you cross a threshold, probably that technology. The race to unify Egypt has begun. Interesting. Okay, this must be it. Chiefdoms. Chiefdoms arose as a result of wars of conquest. They were early proto-states consisting of many clans. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we have a, a change over here. We now lose 20% technology and we gain more luxury goods and military. Well, I don't like that. Well, the plus five we're gaining is just pretty much entirely lost. 
It's only a 1.6 gain now. So, it eh, might not have been worth it, but... Okay, so we really need enough food to get more people. As soon as we have that option... Six. Okay, let's take you out, finish building that. Um, because that'll be better for us in terms of food. Yeah, yep, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> okay, good, so let's move the mic a little closer, excuse me. Joint ritual, our chiefs want to support, well, wants to receive support from the gods of the leopard tribe and reinforce our bonds with them. He asked the gods whether they approve of a joint ritual with foreign gods. My goodness, 44%, it's terrible. Well, we can expend this to get this up. It's going to cost two, two, two. Okay. As much as we can do, it worked. So we're really friendly now. Was that worth it? I don't know. I mean, I guess being friendly or not being friendly is... You'd rather be friendly, right? And we're even... So we're, we're friendly, friendly, and then just neutral. That's pretty good. This workshop definitely going to be what we work. And basically, um, everyone right now, well, we did have to sacrifice that worker, which is putting us a little bit behind, but everyone else right now is picking up the slack for this guy, who needs two more turns before the swamp is drained. Now, the swamp does have point 0.1. We're so close. Is this going to get us to 1? 13.5? No. But two more turns like this, and he will. So let's do this first. Let's get the extra worker and put him in. Wait. It cancels? It cancels? Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Two turns wasted. That's frustrating. Well, I mean, now I don't have to say we will. We will wait for another worker now. So we'll wait until we don't have anything else to do. That was frustrating. I did not expect it would just cancel. Okay, two technologies are available. Probably not the ones we want. Actually, I mean, we really should be pushing towards this. We we're starting to clear a swamp, so I guess we are moving towards it. Plus 0.5 growth is actually 13.5. We will be a little bit short. Oh, 0.1 short. Just need to maneuver one person. We don't have, we don't even have one person we can move to a better spot. Wait, we do. Ouch. We'd have to sacrifice a lot to do that. But it will give us a worker. So you know what, I think it's worth it. So we'll do the one, 1 1.5 and we'll get this instead, which will put us over, wait, 13.5? Oh, never mind. we're gonna get it no matter what. What was my math doing? 13.5, we'll have 13.9. Probably I'm forgetting about the 0.5 we just got from the technology. Ah, excuse me. Ah, my throat's kind of dry. All right, let's, uh, it's just perfect because I'm playing in Egypt and it's, you know, the desert -y environment. I'm role-playing that I'm actually there. So we can get an extra person. It's good. It's going to cost us a little bit in terms of growth because we need to feed this extra person. Another one. Let's have them clear the swamp for the third time. <laughs> no, I guess only the second time. We didn't actually advance when I started clearing it the second time. Um, and we're not assimilating neighbors, which is not good, but that'll have to wait until after the swamp is, you know, is cleared, I guess. Yeah, it's only, <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. We do need to speed that up. We have actually the growth, so let's just do this. Let's trade here. And these are all too important to forsake. We don't need the hammers. Let's trade 
there as well. And wait, 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. We have a new trading partner and it's the same. Let's get everyone out of neutral first. Then I probably don't need to worry about my army at all. Okay, Colt, same old, same old. And this is what? Pig breeding. More growth. Don't have pastures though. I think the tombs has to be next. Okay, two more turns as, again, massive, just terrible waste. Still frustrated. Okay, just end the turn. Um, our gods have exchanged knowledge and have allowed us to learn some of the secrets of our neighbors. 6%. One time plus nine. Wow. Plus nine. Huge. <laughs> no, I, I'm being quite sar sarcastic there. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, well, extra favor is good. Um, move on. So our ancestral duties had to be paid. Good. So floodplains, 1.2. Actually, it looks like... Why is this 1.2? It's the same. Well, let's build some grain fields. Obviously, between the two things, growth is much slower. And the funny thing is we can always trade growth for hammers. Food for production. And BLX had also mentioned that this ancestral duty thing, it does get huge by the end of the game, like, huge. <laughs> so, that's why we'll keep investing in Seeker. Okay, plus five, we want, what do we want next? Plus one, which is great. I mean, if we were just happy about 0.5, plus one is, well, twice as good. But irrigation is probably next on our list, and I think that's because we're going to really push on the grain fields and flax fields, so we can take advantage of the technology. This one will be good as well. Copper smelting, which one's that? Ah, so we have to do that, which is a good one to do anyway. So pig breeding is just going to take a back seat for now. Okay, and we're working on this trade, that's good. It looks like the different events that you have, by the way, like we're taking longer or um, maybe less time, more time to do this, whatever it is. I think the next one of fires at a specific turn, which is at a specific time. So, um, so finishing this faster should be good for us. News of our riches has spread throughout the lands. We have some caravan from distant lands, so we can either do frankincense, we lose luxury goods, we get plus two favor. I do like to do that. We're, we're like bleeding with way too much. Or, oh my gosh, luxury goods, which we don't need. So let's get all this that we can. And that's it. That's all the deals we can do. That was quite a lot of favor though, which is good because then we can get Seeker. You know what? We'll worship him twice. Technology do have enough for carpal smelting now or we can go irrigation well let's do this first because uh, we're gonna have the green field pretty quickly actually so the hammers are not gonna be worth anything let's do this I changed my mind again basically well one of the best things to do would be favor I, I think that in my opinion technology is the most important culture then favor, and then probably military and growth, or food. But the, the ones that decay, the four left ones, those are hard to think about in the same way as the, left, the right two, which don't decay. And probably, I mean, the technology is just obviously the best one because it, it gives you exponential growth. Hmm. 
And this gives us a huge amount of bonuses for workshops, which we have plenty of. Plus another hammer every turn for free anyway. Um, this looks amazing. This is what we're going to do next. 130, okay. Even though we're going to lose 20% of it, I think it's worth it. Okay, 1.6. So now that's really helpful. What the heck? The climate of Egypt is becoming more arid. Savannas dry out and herbivores and predators alike are leaving for the south. However, the Nile floods are quite violent at this time, preventing people from engaging in agriculture. Hunting and fishing remain their primary activities. So we're going to get a nice penalty. Um, that's, yeah, not really great. But I think that's a, just an event, uh, like a historical event, so we have to live with it, right? Good thing we just built some grain fields. <laughs> okay, so we're getting closer to the next citizen at 14. I really wish we hadn't lost that one. And you know what? Somebody else at this point should probably move to clear this swamp. And I think we're going to take you off trading. You're so close to making them neutral. But do we need this many hammers? Probably not. But I'm just going to do it. Clear the swamp. Well, the 0.6 food is probably what we missed the most. I don't want to move them. <laughs> I committed. We're not moving them. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine. Get Seeker again. I don't know if... Oh, the Blessing of Seeker must be 4.5. So we've done it... Wow, 15 times already. <laughs> That's a lot. And we're waiting for what? 130. One more turn. And I think next turn we'll get our next worker as well. Good. Okay, we get an additional favor income for 80% of our goal. Got another worker. He's going to do trade again. So close to being friendly. Uh, and then we have this first laws, which is great. A large society calls for creation of a codex of rules capable of regulating its daily life. Thus, the first laws were created and issued as the will of the forefather gods. Actually, I wanted to read that last bit. They were mostly aimed at... Let's look at that. Oh, details. They were mostly aimed at resol resolving civil conflicts, extending a ruler's power, and supporting the helpless. Okay, interesting. Plus one to housing, I mean, basically just gives another population. We are, we are not filling these very quickly, so... That's not too important. Though overall, it's just going to mean that we have to build less houses. And, you know, houses 1.5 versus now we have 1.8 or 1.6, I guess, is the is the normal. So it's still going to... And this is only going to get better, whereas the housing one doesn't really increase. I don't think it increases at all. So these will get better and better, like up to 2 and maybe even more. Oh, this is done. Well, get grain fields. So we can still try to um, get more workers. We have this nice tile, which is not being nice area, which is not being worked. And then we want to send people out after that to start exploring. Uh oh. Thickets. It ends up being only a benefit to us. No. Acacia found? I don't fully understand what happened there. Cutting down the thickets will take four turns plus five. That's not a good deal. But we can't build anything until the thickets are gone anyway. Huh. Boy. They really get you. Wow, three hammer? Well, I mean, honestly, it's not that great. Okay, so let's... When do we put a stop to this? I don't know. 
What technology can we build? Five. I think we want to do copper smelting to metalworking now. No, we don't really care about hammers. Let's keep going growth. So let's do pig breeding and to... Wait, irrigation doesn't require it. So let's just do irrigation at 80. Just, just... Yep, we're going to squeak by in one more turn. Okay, good. Yep, looking good. Men of Leopard Tribe and our tribe want to go hunting together. They wish to know what the go gods will think of that and whether it will bring misfortune. Man, I am getting not lucky. This When I was playing my own game, test game, these numbers were always around 70, maybe 80. Did I do? I must have done something more difficult. Anyways, we can pray, which is going to cost us, and we have that. Oh, new settlers, huh? Oh, we finished. Okay, great. One time plus 50 bonus. Fantastic. Okay, quest, Ascension of the Tribes. The god Ta, patron of our lands, is benevolent to us. Our settlement prospers, and we should properly thank our god by building a large temple. It will guarantee his protection in the future. Goal, build a temple. Reward, one time bonus of 10 favor. So, anyway, I don't really want to build a temple. It's a waste, in my opinion, but I think you have to sacrifice good, like, hilltop space for it, too. The only good thing is we can at least burn it down afterwards. I mean, I'm not really sure what the god would think about us, if that's what he knew our plan was. <laughs> if he knew that's what our plan was, but... Well... <laughs> too bad for him. Yes, yeah, so what technologies? We got a, a big bonus. We might want to look ahead beyond this. It's 80, but we have 130. Because there's something better we should be getting. Well, this looks pretty darn good. Irrigation to plow. Well, let's see what other, um, this. 170 for plus eight bonus. I think we have to do that. And then we have to go right to Archaic Riding. I don't care. Plus 12 per turn, are you kidding me? We have to do that. Okay, well, let's just wait it out then. I just, I can't see any other min-max way of approaching the situation. I mean, it does, we are sacrificing short-term benefits for the other technologies. We're not going to have those technologies in, in place for as long. But we're just going to scale up towards the, the end game faster. And things are ramping up, so scaling towards the, long, the, the end of the game faster should pay off more in the long run. Even though we are forsaking some of these, like, per-term benefits earlier. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, we have no need for luxury items, but thank you. And we will have a new trial soon, sooner or later. I just want food. Food is my only concern. We have plenty of these workshops. We really have plenty of hammers. Like, boom, boom, boom. Three. Just... Well, I mean, when you say it that way, probably I should be getting the metalworking. But we'll do it the way I want to, which is forget about the hammers. I mean, we don't really need the hammers. These are practically just decaying anyway. Way of Horus. A permanent caravan route named the Way of Horus is now established between the Nile Delta and the lands of Canaan, allowing Egyptians to penetrate into the Near East. From there, they now bring back Canaanite wood metals and luxury items from the east and that's good our region is one of the transit points and we can profit greatly okay so we get free luxury goods per turn which really is not something we need with the leftover favor i think we'll call on seeker again i don't want to get this over we'll probably only do this like three more times i want to quickly jump to technology to the the higher cult ones where you can start reducing the cost of things. And are we there? Oh, 
Oh. We are. Okay, plus eight, and now we just need to get to 310. <laughs> that is a ways off, isn't it? Well, we got our 20 turns in. Let's try to push a little bit further, save up a bank for when I have some really terrible, tough decision. Oh, we rejected the Leopard Tribe. Okay, well, well, too bad for that. Okay, so this is really important. A new trial will commence in five terms. Required resources are food, production, military, and favor. We will save every single one of those, even though it means we probably won't be able to create a worker in the end. Yeah, we'll see what this trial ends up being. So let's find out what the trial is, and then I can maybe wrap it up there, and we can start and think about it um, before the next episode. Actually, this is inefficient. I shouldn't be trading with you anymore, despite the fact that, like, what the heck? How did our relations go down with them? Oh, is that the people I was supposed to go on the hunt with? Probably. 75, 75, definitely not 75. Okay, so let's put this guy to work doing something, well, not much else he can do, huh? Well, the house. Gives me plus one food. We gotta do some exploring, though. And you know what? I, I gotta do this worshipping thing. It gives us favor, which we're gonna need apparently anyway. So let's just get the hyena up, let's see, 23, no, no, 33 away, so it's going to take 11 turns of doing this, and then we get 0.4 favor for working the houses. You know what, I just don't, 1 and 0.5 just are not that great compared to the other stuff we can get, so let's, let's just cut across the river, start exploring new stuff. Okay. Turn. Oh. Okay, lower Egyptian tribes have robbed some merchants on a trade route, connecting Canaan and Upper Egypt. Their goods were intended for the people of Upper Egypt. Part of the goods made into our hands, plus six production. Very good. Let's, uh, do we want to accumulate a little more favor? We have like, what, four more turns? Let's, let's do Seeker first, just to keep increasing that. And we need to get to 310, so that's a lot of technology. And you know what, we have, uh, how many more turns? Three. I think we want this extra worker. And just put him on this side. Let's just take our side of the river. Eventually we'll take other sides, but I think that was the right decision. Good God, so many hammers. I think we're gonna pass this thing no problem. <laughs> Military-wise, we're really pathetic, but other than that, we're looking good. Okay, we explore some new territory. Scorpion, one of the upper Egyptian chiefdoms, has a new ruler, the Horus Scorpion. His talents are impressive, and the gods have reserved a great destiny for him. Upper Egypt has entered the final stage of unification. What does this mean? Scorpion is one of the most ancient and mysterious rulers of ancient Egypt. Scholars still debate whether such a ruler even existed. Was Scorpion just one man, or several? Or was Scorpion instead a god, a settlement, or even a whole region? In any case, a number of the important events of pre-dynastic Egypt are connected to the scorpion hieroglyph. Hieroglyph. Plus four, wow, these merchants get robbed a lot. Plus four luxury goods. Maybe that's seeking revenge, maybe that's what's gonna happen next. I don't, I don't know. Let's just keep exploring, cause can't build anything on a river. 1.2 is pretty bad. We can get 1.5 over here, much better. Yeah, okay, so 310, we're not there. Is this it? Well, I guess we have one more turn. I don't think there's anything I'm gonna be doing this one turn. We have no food. If food is like a very important part of this next um, thing, we are screwed. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say that it, I may have gotten extremely lucky on the other map, but the map that this one has generated has been absolutely terrible for me. I had lots of animals that I was able to um, you know, domesticate. Ones like antelope and stuff like that, which provided food per turn once they were domesticated on top of whatever you did. Ah, no such luck. And I also had more of the flax areas, what is it called? Um, good clay, and I had plenty of things which had good fertility, which is the uh, equivalent, but for 
for grain fields. Anyway, just not having as much luck in this one. And that's not good either. Okay, well, we'll just keep building grain fields because I think hammers are... We have plenty of those. Um, this one I'm going to stave off committing myself to. We'll see what favor does for us with this thing. It's just one turn. We're gonna, essentially going to trade 0.3 favor for the ability to see what the trial brings us before we spend our all our favor. And then, yeah, 310. So we're still a ways off. Okay, let's see what what is in store for us. Okay, there we go. Unification of the Upper Egypt, restoring universal order, the mighty Horus Scorpion subjugated Ombos and united all of the Upper Egypt. Lower Egypt is the next target, but such a lengthy campaign will be difficult to organize. And Horus Scorpion has requested our assistance. Our Horus agreed. Okay, a new trial, the subjugation of Egypt, has started. The ruler of the south, King Scorpion, invaded the Nile Delta to bring peace to all Egypt. Scorpion will not succeed without our assistance, and our Horus commands to help him. Commands us to help him. Okay, so we want to probably just get the chance that all regions have surrender. Which is prayer. Um, I don't care about spending military, so we can spend that very easily. I don't want to spend food. So we'll just take this down to practically nothing. And then we'll just pray that everyone surrenders. <laughs> okay, well that I mean that wasn't great. We'll do this once. I just want that first one to go quickly. It might add the chance that all regions surrender. Okay. With our extra person, I think we're just immediately going to begin working on this wildfowl. And that is a perfect example. I mean, the, the uh, whatever the one I was saying, was it antelope? I can't remember. It was more food, 0.3. So we're, we're still getting a little bit unlucky, I feel. But that's okay. At least one. We, we got one animal, at least. So it's something I can work with. Weak army, that's going to change kind of quickly. Maybe not too quickly. 60% chance. I feel pretty confident about that. So now we have more food, that's good. Okay, region was subjugated. Fantastic. Chances that all regions surrender up by plus 5%. King Scorpion has subjugated the southern delta region. The chiefs of all the tribes therein have acknowledged the power of Horus Scorpion. The eastern delta is the next region to subdue. Okay, here we are. So we have nine... Oh, we only have nine turns remaining for this. Let's pray again. 35% chance. We could do the math real quickly. What is the chances? 0.65 to the ninth power that we don't... <laughs> that we don't succeed uh, just in this, in this one. I don't want to make our military any weaker. So we're just going to stick with favor. Which means we're not going to do this one either. Okay, that's very good. So we won't worry about sub. Wait, what are the chances of it subjugating on its own? Ten percent? Yeah, no, not good. Yeah, we really got to use the technology after three ten though. What's the next one? Yeah, good. So the next one after that is insane. Four eighty. We'll do the three ten since we're already committed, basically to waiting for that. And then I've, I've got to go through the flax field ones. But anyways, it's getting close to 40 minutes, so let's wrap this episode up. Thanks so much for watching, and until the next one, take care.